Welcome to Cameron and Miliband Live, the battle for number 10. But David Cameron, do you know how many food banks there were in this country when you came to power? I don't have the exact figures, but I know that usage of food banks has gone up. And there are many amazing volunteers who man those mm. food banks and provide uh, an important service. There are now 421. You're, you're going to have to make this huge choice okay. you know, in 42 days' time who runs the country. And all I'd say, what I've learned in the last five years, is nothing that you want to do will work without a strong and growing economy. The schools okay. we want for our children, okay. the hospitals we want when we're ill, okay. those things need the strong economy. Okay, and the studio, I'm ready to meet our audience. I think this is a choice between those who think this is as good as it gets for Britain and those who think we can do a lot better than this. I don't think it's good enough that we've got 700,000 people on zero hours contract. I, I, I think we can do something about it. From Nick Clegg and their broken promises or David Cameron and his broken promises, are you just going to sit here and sugarcoat things? It goes back to this point about tuition fees. Look, in 2011, I said I wanted to cut the tuition fee to £6,000, right? And